Hey, what is happening, guys? I'm Johnny. You tuned into Rules for Rebels, and in today's video, let's see, do we got me on the screen? Yeah. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to claim your Bitcoin gold uh, using a Trezor. For those of you guys who are Trezor users out there, so um, this is my first time claiming Bitcoin gold, so I may kind of stumble through this a little bit. I've only done this one other time while claiming Bitcoin cash. So uh, what we got here? I got my Trezor. Um, I have my Recovery seed. Uh, they recommend you have this because we're going to have to update the firmware uh, before we actually do this. And I guess there's a chance things could be wiped. So they just want to make sure you have this. Otherwise, you can uh, get it um, prior to updating the firmware. So uh, let's see here. You guys can see my screen right now. I have Bittrex open with my Bitcoin Gold wallet because we're at this point in time, we're not actually going to be able to hold Bitcoin Gold on our Trezor. That may be coming in the future. Right now, it's kind of a beta version of accessing it. So what we're going to have to do is access it and immediately send it off somewhere else. Now, initially, I thought I was going to have to find a Bitcoin Gold wallet or do hit BTC because initially Bittrex said, look, we're, we'll, we'll split them for you. We'll give them to you, but we're not going to trade them. So you're going to have to send them elsewhere. It turns out they are allowing you to trade them. So uh, what we're first going to do, I, I sort of briefly kind of read through here, so I was stumbling a little bit less. Uh, but I'm just going to kind of go through the entire process with you. So the first thing we're going to need, need to do is, uh, actually, I guess we'll start at the very beginning here. Um, for the time being, your Bitcoin Gold wallet will only be accessible from the Trezor beta wallet. Bitcoin Gold is a fork of Bitcoin sharing its history up until the block height 491,407 around October 24th, 6 a.m. UTC. If you have held Bitcoins on Trezor before this block, you will have the same Bitcoin Gold balance as your Bitcoin balance at the time of the fork. Bitcoin Gold is not Bitcoin. It, it merely uses Bitcoin's history. Similarly to the case of Bitcoin Cash, this process will not affect your Bitcoin wallet at all. So the first step, we're going to have to make sure our firmware is updated to 1.6.0. Uh, please go to the Trezor beta, beta wallet to update your device firmware. Note that for the time being, your Bitcoin Gold wallet will only be accessible from the Trezor Beta wallet. Make sure you have your recovery sheet available, which we do, uh, in case you are asked to recover your device after a firmware update. Never update firmware without your seed nearby. So what we're going to do, and this is kind of where it gets a little bit tricky. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube who have issues. We're going to need to hold down these two buttons while at the same time plugging in our USB. Um, so again, I'm going to hold these down as I plug it in. Uh, first, we'll go to the Trezor Beta wallet. So it's a little bit tricky just kind of holding these down. These buttons are kind of sensitive. Okay, Trezor Beta Wallet is a public testing version of Trezor Wallet offering the newest features available. Uh, in contrast, Trezor Wallet is a feature conservative, making sure it is functionally maximally reliable. Okay, so, uh, okay, I understand. Your Trezor has not been set up. Fresh out of the box, you do not need to have a recovery seed. Okay, if you have a Trezor set up already, have your recovery seed before updating the firmware. In very rare cases, a firmware update might result in a need to recover the wallet from recovery seed. Um, so we're going to click Yes, Update. If asked, please confirm the update on your device. Now, I'm not going to show you guys my device, but my device says uh, install new firmware. Never do this without your recovery seed. So we have on the left abort to the right continue. So I'm going to, on the right of my Trezor, click Continue. And it says Erasing. Please wait, and we have some gears spinning. And we kind of have a little status bar going across. I, I know I'm kind of like illustrating kind of stupid things, but if you guys are going through this, I, I know a lot of times like the smallest little thing, like, oh, am I going to lose my Bitcoins? So I just kind of want to illustrate everything that's going on. Make sure the same fingerprint is displayed on your advice. I may have to hide this from you guys later. Um, okay, so everything seems to match up there. Uh, so we'll hit continue. Installing, please wait. New firmware successfully installed. You can now unplug your Trezor. So I'm going to unplug my Trezor. And 
let's see. Okay, so we got the firmware updated. Uh, the claim process, make sure it's updated. Open the claim tool. Uh, so we're going to click the claim tool. This tool allows you to claim your Bitcoin Gold, BTG, from your Trezor wallet. Assuming you had Bitcoin's BTG on your Trezor before block height 491,407 around October 24th, uh, BTC and BTG are completely independent and separate currencies. A transaction sent on one chain will not affect the others. This applies to the claim tool too. Your BTC will not be affected. Please select the type of account to claim from. So we have a standard account and a legacy account. I'm actually using the legacy account unless you actually went through the process of moving your coins over to a SegWit wallet, um, you're going to have a legacy account. So I haven't updated mine, uh, so I have a legacy account, and we're going to click Connect with Trezor. So I think I'm probably going to be prompted here to connect my device, so we'll do that. And let's see, I see my Trezor powering up. Okay, now this is a little bit weird. So I have my enter my pin thing, um, but no, you know, normally I would have a box on here that I would have to enter. So this is a little bit weird. Um, reading of failed accounts. Huh. Let's see, let's try this again here. Loading Bitcoin legacy accounts. Okay, here we go. So. Right now, this is what this should look like here. Um, now, you guys can't see anything here, but basically on my actual treasure, I have kind of a, a little box similar to this, but there's numbers in it. Um, I better stop talking. I can't think of what I'm doing. Okay, so I punch in my pin and I'm going to hit enter. Loading Bitcoin legacy accounts. Give this a second here. Now, those are kind of nervous doing stuff like this. So just take your time when you're doing this stuff. Read through the instructions, follow the instructions. Um, let's see here. Account number one, BTG. Okay, so I only have one account. So we got 5.1539. 3053 BTG, and we have the target address, Bitcoin Gold number one account in Trezor. Okay, so we're going to need to put in the address that we want. Hmm. So, address on Trezor. Okay, so here's where I'm a little bit confused. Part of me wants to put in a Bittrex address to send these off to. Um, Let's go back to the instructions here. Select the account type from which you want to claim. So we did that, right? Legacy account. Click on connect. We did that. Okay, and they're kind of blocking out this address here. Select an account with a positive BTG balance. Input an address in which you want to receive your BTG. The default address is taken from your Trezor, but you can enter any BTG address. Okay, so I guess we could send them over to the Trezor, which I wasn't aware of. Uh, I'm actually going to send mine over to Bittrex. Uh, Bitcoin gold addresses start with either an A or a G as the first symbol. Click on a claim amount, so it's already highlighted for us. The claim tool will refresh. This okay, so we're going to head over to Bittrex. I'm going to click the plus sign. may take a second to uh, to load up an address for us. We'll just give it a second here. And while we're doing that, let's, uh, what did they say? BTG addresses start with an A or a G. So when this address pops up, we'll just want to make sure that um, it's taken off a long time. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and click new address. Okay, so it starts with a G, as they said. So what we're going to do, we're going to copy that. 
we're going to head over to the claim tool. We're going to paste it in there, and we're going to want to make sure that, you know, I normally don't check the whole thing, but I'll check the first couple letters or numbers in the last couple, and we'll kind of make sure that that matches up, which it does. And we're going to send all of it over there. So I'm going to click Claim 5.1526 BTG. My heart is racing. Uh, let's see. Did you guys get like this when sending uh, sending money? I'm like, ah. Let's click Claim. Check recipient address on the device. And now normally it would show me here, but uh, we'll check it. Yeah. Okay, it matches up. So on the left is cancel. If they didn't match up, I would click cancel. On the right is confirm. I'm going to, going to hit confirm. Really send you know the amount of BTG from your wallet. Fee included. The fee is 0 0.001314 BTG. We're going to confirm that. We're signing the transaction. And I didn't really get like a confirm or anything like that. I'm going to head over to the track. Let's look, I'm going to refresh this. Okay, I'd like to see something say pending deposit, but it's only been a, a moment here. Okay, so I was kind of worried my Bitcoins were gone. Whenever they show me my, uh, so basically the legacy account is kind of a legacy account and the new Segwit accounts are kind of the default. So I always kind of freak out because I always see a zero balance under my, you know, main account. Um, and I always kind of forget to look down to the legacy. Um, Okay, so what's kind of weird is we're not actually getting like a confirmed message. Um, I don't know whether to start this over or let's see, I'm going to close that out. I'm going to close that out. Let's refresh that. Okay, so. Uh, right now we do have a pending deposit, so that has gone through successfully. Um, it's still not cleared into my account yet, but it has gone through. Um, so yeah, it looks like that went through. You know, it's always a little bit kind of nerve-wracking doing these things, but you know, just follow the instructions. Um, don't rush. Don't let yourself kind of freak out about things. Um, but yeah, that was uh, fairly easy. The one part that kind of confused me, I was under the impression that at this point in time, because with Bitcoin Cash, initially you weren't allowed to keep Bitcoin Cash on your Trezor. Initially what you had to do was send it off somewhere else. So it kind of confused me that they gave you a Trezor address to move your Bitcoin gold over to. Um, I wanted to send mine over to uh, Bittrex, which I wound up doing, uh, but that kind of threw me for a little bit of a loop there. Um, but yeah, yeah, it went pretty smoothly. Um, if, if any of you guys have questions about how to go about doing this, if any of you guys have treasures and start doing it and start getting confused, 
just drop me an email, drop a comment below this uh, below this video. Let me know. I'd be happy to kind of try to help walk you through it. Um, and if any of you guys don't have a Trezor and would like to get one, uh, the initial the original Trezors are still available. They do have a new what is it? It's a Trezor. They do have a new Trezor Model T. It's got a touch screen. Um, I guess a little bit more secure. There, there's some, some benefits to it. Let's take a quick look here. I think if we click Show Me. Uh, I'll link to where you can pick up a Trezor or a new Trezor T. They're going to be shipping in January, which isn't that far away. They cost $150, so you can get an older Trezor for a little bit cheaper. Uh, I guess right now they have 1,230 of 4,000 sold. Uh, next generation of hardware wallet. So it does have a touch screen, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, same kind of interface that you're used to. Um, advanced coin support, improved security, um, touch screen, so that's an upgrade. It does have a USB-C, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, I mean, personally, I, I would probably get the old Trezor, uh, but if you're someone who likes having kind of the new and best, they do have the Model T out. I'll link to where you can pick one of these up below. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully that maybe helps some of you guys who have a Trezor. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.